Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sorful here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Iran revamp, uh, some of their new skills. Unfortunately, because my Iran is only level 122, I won't be able to show you guys the hyper skill, so I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, here's here's what we're going to do. We're going to show you guys the regular skills, and uh, I'll kind of just use them and show you guys how they are and stuff like that, the, the whole typical stuff. So, um... If you guys want to see every skill in depth, you guys could go ahead and pause the video. I'm just going to try and, you know, run over them. Um, something I noticed about the, the class so far is that you get to max every single skill in every um, job branch. So don't worry about not having enough points for a, a specific skill because you will. Um, so make sure that's not a worry in your mind. Um, and yeah, so their polearm booster looks like this. So it's pretty nice, quick, sleek animation. Uh, this is their auto attack thing. Like that. It's only the first two, I believe. Uh, you got Smash Wave. Right? You can see the um, command for it right there in the orange down right attack key. So, like that. And then you have Body Pressure, which is a on-off skill. It reflects damage to mobs that... Um, hit you or attack you. So yeah, pretty good skill. Something I've always loved about the air and cla Iran class is that skill. Uh, next you just have some more typical skills. Their drain is now also an on-off ability, so that's pretty cool. It's it's a much weaker drain though, I, I noticed. Um, but that's to be expected. Snow charge. Um, I'm really sad at the change they made to this. It's more of a damage buff now, when before it was a massive defensive buff. Um, so because of this change, Arons to me don't feel nearly, nearly as tanky as they used to, um, which is a big letdown for me personally because I really love that about the Aran class, um, but it seems that they've lost that a bit and that now they are um, more, you know, offensive centric, if that makes sense. Um, so you can see a couple of unique abilities they have now like these and then these ones with the C, meaning like combo skills um, or command skills probably. And so yeah, you can see it like for this one. A cool trick you could do with final toss now is since the command is up, up, attack, you could go like that and you can use it twice. If you try using it more than twice though, it won't work. Um, but yeah, you can use it twice to get some major height. Um, and it's a super easy command, so really not hard to get used to. However, if you do put it on a key, um, it won't take you nearly as high. And you can still only use it twice. So it won't, it won't take you nearly as high, so it's much better to use that. All of these skills it's much better to use on a command, um, because they really try and make it so that they reward those pro Aran players who, who memorize all the commands and who actually use the commands. Um, because as you'll see, most of their skills give like bonus uh, added effects if you do use it uh, using the command. Um, rolling spin looks like this. It's just like this. Kind of reminds me of the Thunder Thunderbreakers um, Shark Flip one that they get in second job as well. So they get that. Snow Charge looks like this. It's pretty nice. And then Final Charge is that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you guys paused it, saw what you guys wanted to see, and stuff like that. Alright, next third job advancement. Maha Blessing. I believe that was a fourth job skill before. This is just a passive um, arrow swing. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty unique passive that I'm going to show you guys in a little bit uh, right after I hover over all of these. Adrenaline Rush is a new passive that they have as well. Final Blow, you still got that, which is the bear at the end of your three hit combo. Or if you want, you could just press down and attack and you'll keep doing it. Judgment Draw, no cooldown. Looks like that. And then gathering hook, which is what I put on my insert key, which looks like this. So it's a really cool animation. It does have a short cooldown, uh, five seconds, but yeah, might. So this used to also be um, an active buff. There was a green one that Aron's had. I don't remember what it's called, but they had a green defensive buff, I think in fourth job, and they no longer have that. And I guess this kind of replaces it, but this is, you know, semi offense semi-defensive um so yeah arons are just really not not as tanky as they used to be um but yeah for arrow swing 
it's cool because it allows you to to move while attacking so if you're just here you can now go like this while attacking it's very similar to Hayato so you could just do that or what's even more cool is oh, it didn't show it right there what's cool is why isn't it doing it one second Like that, you could you could like pretty much just float and move sideways while attacking. So I'm not sure why it doesn't work sometimes like that. Maybe you need to wait a second for it to uh, kind of kick in. Um. And my, my Aran is super, super unfunded. You guys can see the equips here. There's really nothing going on. I mean, like, really nothing going on. So, yeah, this is the damage you'll be doing if you just reach this level, pretty much. Um, but, yeah, so, like I said, Maha Blessing. Um, so, that's Aero Swing. So, you could kind of move in the air and you'll kind of float. And uh, it's pretty cool. If you Again, if you know how to master it, you could really make your mobbing efficient on especially flat platformed maps. Um, but also, you know, multi-leveled maps as well. So Adrenaline Rush is something that kicks in once you reach once you reach a thousand combo, which is right here. So as soon as you reach a thousand combo, it'll automatically activate and put you in this. It'll make your screen look like it's on fire. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys that, but I have to get to a thousand combo and then, um, yeah, I'll show you guys. And when you're in Adrenaline Rush, you get uh, a couple buffs. Um, some pretty strong buffs and you have the ability to use these two skills in your fourth job tree um, so that's it for third job though let me go ahead and show you guys um, grappling hook on mobs so that's how that skill looks and then obviously and then grappling hook one more time so it's like that so as you can see, I die extremely quick. I take so much damage here when the old Arans would be taking one damage. Like, I'm not even kidding. The old Arans would be taking one damage here. So that's a little bit of a letdown for me. Fourth job, some typical skills. High mastery, maple warrior. They still got high defense. I'm hoping this would help me out a lot once I get to max it out with uh, survivability. Um, sudden strike. I think this is an old skill but I'm not sure it just pretty much buffs uh, your other abilities advanced final attack beyond blade so um, I think this was a hyper skill before your 150 hyper it's now a fourth job skill and you can't use it on its own the way you have to use a skill is after final blow which is this skill okay so you could either either press down attack down attack and then use it like you have to spam it or you could just press the key that you have final blow on and then use it. Or you could spam your attack key three times. Whoops. And then you could use it. So those are the three ways you could use that ability. However, you can't use it on its own. Um, so yeah. Um, or again, just down attack and then use it. I'm not sure which way is the fastest for DPS. It's probably using the down attack and then go right into Beyonder. Um, but yeah, so that's that skill. Um, we'll, I'll show you it on some mobs in a bit. Finisher, Storm of Fear. You could pause, you could read it. And Finisher, Hunter's Prey. Pause, you could read it. So those are both ultimate abilities, like Combo Tempest. Um, and yeah, they work in... Uh, uh, pretty unique way so you have to be at uh, adrenaline rush mode so you have to have a thousand combo and then once you use it shortly after your adrenaline rush ends um, I got to use one but I didn't know you have to hold down the key and uh, unfortunately for a newbie like me uh, you can't assign these to a actual hotkey so you have to memorize the um, uh, command for it and then use it that way um, it says to hold it down I didn't hold it down so I'm gonna be showing you guys it hopefully I don't mess it up and um, yeah, but first let's go ahead and show you guys Beyond Blade on some mobs. And um, whoops. So I'll show you guys it all three ways. I'm just going to use the hotkey for final blow. 
and then go straight into it. Now I use down attack. Like that. Okay, and now I'm gonna use the three attack way. Why am I not attacking? There we go. So like Alright, and this is the adrenaline mode. So your skill is more enhanced. And let's see, this one is down left right attack. So down left right. And I held it, but I don't know if I used it too late or what. Um, but we'll go ahead and try again for you guys. And I'll show you guys the other one. Alright, so we're almost at a thousand combo. And I found the best way to um, to really showcase the uh, floaty thing. So you just want to jump straight up and then hold side and attack. So jump straight up and then hold side and attack. Okay, so down right up attack. And hold it down. Down right up attack. Okay. So... Why doesn't... Oh, whoa. Well, that's... <laughs> oh, wow, that caught me off guard. So it's a skill that you hold. You guys saw the huge... Um, Pole arm there you hold it and you're invulnerable while holding it I forgot that so I panicked because my HP was getting really low two more hits and I would have died but I, I remembered at the end that you're invulnerable while charging which makes sense to be quite honest because you know if you get one one while charging you're gonna have to release it anyway um, and then you just unleash it you you stop holding the attack key and then it'll unleash on one enemy and do a lot of hits um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys both of the skills there. I'm, I might have messed them up, but I, hey, I'm a terrible Aran player. Um, but yeah, so that's the new Aran skills. I, I, I know I did a really shitty job showcasing them, but here's the sorrowful version of it. You could probably see another video if that's what you want to do to get a better idea. But hopefully this was um, gave you guys a general idea of what their skills look like. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. This has been a Soulful Production. I'm just going to let my Aran here uh, float. Hey, you made it to the end, and for that, you're awesome. While you're here, feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed what you just watched, and click one of these videos to be taken to one of my favorite, most recent uploads. Peace.